Then we're gonna divide. Um, about here and we'll have a little perspective on the right part. It's going a little bit up. Then another division here going up a little bit for the perspective. Then we're gonna go second line and it's getting a little bit wider on the bottom. Then same for that one. And I'm pressing too hard so you can see. Uh, you you draw very lightly. And then on the other part is going to be a little bit thinner. Then we have the arches. And we are adding rectangles here and here and erasing the inside. They are a little bit wider than the Eiffel Tower uh, columns. They're going a little bit out. We're gonna have, um, okay, we're not gonna do the details with pencil. We're gonna continue with the watercolors and gonna keep adding details. So mine got a little bit too wide on the top. Then on the bottom, on the top, they have some kind of a square and a little bit more going up. There are a little more details here under the big rectangle. And the arches, they are kind of double with some dark spots, but we're not gonna do this now. Okay, we're gonna do it later. And maybe the arches could be a little bit deeper, just a bit deeper. So that's it with the pencil.
And also I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter, the pencil. Okay, I'm gonna continue. We're gonna mix. Um, so with the people that are having tubes, you're gonna need probably most of the colors. We're gonna need yellows, oranges, brown, green, purple, pink. So take the time to do the, prepare the colors. Is it watercolor or acrylic? Watercolor. Thank you. So if you're ready, guys, we're going to wait a little bit more for those who are not ready with the colors. And we're going to continue. You can make a little bit uh, fixes if you have on the Eiffel Tower, like straighten lines a little bit. Like I'm going to straighten it here. Okay, today we're gonna use mostly um, wet on dry. We're not gonna water the paper. And the first thing we're gonna start with the Eiffel Tower. First, we're gonna give one ton to everything, but we're not gonna use uh, too dark color. So I'm gonna use something like gold, yellowish, with uh, plenty of water, give it a under color. Also, inside we're going to give a little bit of light tone. And again, try to be free, don't be too precise. 
it's a watercolor. Also here, we're gonna give a little bit on the side. Next step, we're going to do the water. So if you have bigger brush, use the bigger brush. And we're going to just very free. We're going to add the water and I'm mixing few colors together. I'm not staying with one color. And the darker part gonna be close to the Eiffel Tower. And then slowly with more water, we're gonna give it very light tone of bluish, greenish. And you don't have to feel everything around. I'm waiting a bit to, for people who need to catch up. Okay, next step, we're gonna do the purple bushes with flowers here. They're gonna go over the Eiffel Tower a little bit and over the water a little bit. Um, I'm still using my round brush. And you can choose what color you can use. I'll do the purple and pick 
and pink mixed a little bit. And again, the first layer is gonna be more watery and you're just doing round kind of movement with the brush like that, but stay straight on the bottom. Like the bushes are not even on the top but on the bottom, it's kind of straight. So you go like that. You can add a little bit more pink, the next one. A little bit more dark purple next to it. I mix it with a little bit of blue. Then with more watery brush, I'm gonna add a little bit light colors on the top. Same colors, a little bit more water. I'm going to go all the way in front. And go over again a little bit. So on the top, I'm going to add small brush strokes like that. So it's going to give the feeling of um, bushes and flowers coming up a little bit. And with a little bit of black, I'm gonna give just a few brush strokes on the base here now the bushes it's a little bit more dark If you guys have any questions, please let me know. If I need to go slower also. Um, there is a question. Those are Pelican colors. You can order them online. There are two, they're going one on top of each other, like that. So they come to two uh, palettes together. And I don't think, I think they are 15, $20, they're not expensive. Okay, on top of the purple bushes, we have some pink flowers coming up. I'm going to go with pink. Now I'm going to use only the tip of the brush and more concentrated paint. And like a small, try not to do only dots, but texture. A little texture, it could be a little bit more reddish, orangish. Yo, yo. 
and some green texture for the leaves. I'm gonna add a little bit yellow, a little bit darker green. Okay, so on the other side, we have the same brushes, but they are a little bit lighter. So I'm going to use more water into my brush. And here there, there is a little bit less red, more green or pink, less pink, more green. And when you do them, try to move the brush in different direction.
can I move on or a few more minutes? Ready, okay, good, okay, moving on. Next, we're gonna do a little bit details. Uh, yes, we're gonna send with um, a link for the recording by email. So we're gonna mix, if you have darker brown, we're gonna use it or mix brown with a little bit of black. And we're gonna start doing the dark parts of the Eiffel Tower. So we're gonna have one under where the arches are. One here, one here. Okay. Then we're gonna add two triangles going in the corners. Like this is the following the arch. And the same on the other side, smaller triangles. Then we're gonna add a bit of red to this color to make it a little bit more warmer. And we're gonna add a shadow here under like that and like that. Then on the top part, we're gonna do a line here. And we're gonna do a little bit of shading like inside here and inside here a bit. And also on the other side, a bit here, and a little bit here. And same color, gonna continue up. And also the second part going that. And a bit, or dark, bit darker than the rectangle color inside.
and a little shading also on the top. And when you're done with that, switch to your thinnest brush. I'm gonna wait a little bit, but have your thin brush. So with the thin brush, we're gonna do the, the structures. You know how um, it's built from um, metal. So we see those going all the way. Then we have here. And all those X's that they create. In the center here, we need a line on between the left and right sides of the tower. So this is the corner. Here, we need a little bit darker line like that, dividing the two sides. And then on one side, we are doing the texture and on the other side that it's a different same texture but by itself then and it again it doesn't have to be like engineering engineers do it just the texture to give the feel of the structure Then with a little bit lighter color, gonna do the same on the top. See, I'm not worrying too much about the same here. Then a little line in between also here. It's too dark, sorry. In between. Then with lighter color, we're continuing. And we can add just a suggestion for the back. There is the fourth size. Oh, just a little bit, not too much information there. Come on behind.
And under those rectangles that we have, the division here and here, we can add a bit darker color for the shadow. And here also a little bit. Um, you can add a little texture also here. More ones. And on the second one. So if you're done and you don't know what to do, you can work on the sky a little bit until other people are finishing. Uh, very light blue with a lot of water. And I'm gonna give a little bit light blue, adding some color, then adding water and spreading it. Too much. I'm gonna add just a bit of purple to the sky going down with a lot of water again. A little bit of yellowish and mix them well together on the paper.
I'm adding a little bit more green down here. It's a little bit too light for me. A little bit of color. And if you're ready with that, we can do the final flowers that we see on the top. For this one, we can water a little bit the paper. Not too much. And we're going to do just texture touching the paper. Like that. A bit of purple. So maybe one team branch or something with purple. Maybe. Now the paper is just a bit drier. I'm going to add a few more dots, a little bit darker dots. Or a little lines. And basically that's it. So when 